Hello, everyone, and everyone at home. I feel a bit like I'm on live television. So over the last few weeks, uh, we've been looking at the prophets of God, and they had uh, messages to give to God's people. And sometimes the messages were good news, and sometimes the messages were bad news. Now, the bad news was mostly about the fact that the people of God had gone their own way, had abandoned God, and really they deserved to be punished. But the good news was always that God loved them, and God loves the whole world. And he sent his son Jesus to take the punishment for sin, and also we learned that God's promises are true. Today's story is in Ezekiel, that's why these bones are up there. Uh, there's a story about the dry bones, and it's quite a dramatic story. And it's in Ezekiel chapter 37. It's about the fact that to live for God, you need to have God's spirit living in you. And I'm going to do something which I almost can't believe I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I can't sing a song, and I sent the song to the children, and you might need to Google it to get the tune if you don't recognize it, but I'm going to do it so that the children at home and here will remember the story, because they'll remember Laura looking really silly. So the, the song is Dem Bones, Ezekiel in the Valley of the Dry Bones, and it starts with the toe bone. So the toe bone's connected to the foot bone, the foot bone's connected to the heel bone, the heel bone's connected to the anchor bone, the anchor bone's connected to the shin bone, shin bone's connected to the knee bone, knee bone's connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone's connected to the hip bone. Now hear the word of the Lord. It gets worse. Dem bones, dem bones, gonna walk around. Dem bones, dem bones, gonna walk around. Dem bones, dem bones, gonna walk around. Now hear the word of the Lord. <clears throat> the hip bones connect to the backbone. The backbone's connected to the shoulder bone. The shoulder bone's connected to the neck bone. The neck bone's connected to the head bone. Oh, now hear the word of the Lord. Dem bones, dem bones, gonna rise again. Dem bones, dem bones, gonna rise again. Dem bones, dem bones, gonna rise again. Now hear the word of the Lord. So I hope you remember the story after all that. Ezekiel was a prophet, and God took Ezekiel to a valley, and it was full of dry bones, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bones. So they wouldn't look like skeletons, they were just bones, all scattered through the valley. And God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live again? And Ezekiel said, well, only you know that, God. And I think he also thought only God could do that. And God told Ezekiel that the dry bones were like his people. Because they were not living for him, they were dead. But God loved his people and he could make them alive again. I can't find the... Underneath. Okay. <laughs> so, Ezekiel spoke God's word to the bones, and the toe bone was connected to the foot bone, and the foot bone was connected to the heel bone, and so on and so on and so on, and the bones joined together. And I love the fact that in the story, Ezekiel heard a rattling noise. Can you imagine that? All the bones moving and joining together. And there's actually 206 bones in the human body, according to Wikipedia. So that would have been a lot of noise. And then not only that, all the veins and organs and all that sort of thing attached to the skeletons, and then all the muscles and the tendons and all that. So that must have been a very, very strange sight for Ezekiel. But there was an army of people standing there. And God, uh, Ezekiel, sorry, realized that they were not alive. They were all standing there, but they were not al alive because the spirit of God was not in them. Ezekiel spoke God's word again so that the breath of God, God's spirit, came into them and they were born again. Now, that means that there's some good news and some bad news in today's story. The bad news is that the people of God were spiritually dead. And in the Bible, it says, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born again. But the good news is that God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. And when the people followed God, his spirit was in them. 
and they had life in its fullness. Another verse in the Bible comes from Jesus. Jesus said, I have come to give you life and life in the full. And quite a lot of what I've said is from the Bible. So I've got another Bible verse for you. It's in Ephesians. Because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in sin. It is by grace you have been saved. And then all this comes all the way back round to the memory verse 